This is the major aspects of criminal justice. This is acknowledgement of my own work certification for this PowerPoint as the information I got came from my papers. So primary components and responsibilities of criminal justice. The components to handle the case that they go through is the investigation of crime, booking in jail, first appearance in front of the judge, their advisor of their rights, information or indictment, arraignment, addition, sentencing, correction or reentry. These components are important when first arresting someone as the list of things that they will go through during the entire process. Problems that keep the system from functioning efficiently. Although all countries have their own criminal justice system, there is not one which has the perfect system. They all have their own flaws. These are some things that happen here in the United States. The drug on an individual. Drug laws are now becoming more different across the country and it causes issues within society of wrongful arrest of someone from another state. A youth arrest. Crimes that juveniles are doing are more serious crimes as the days go by due to changing society as it's been changing from the past couple of decades to now it's been drastically different. Racial prejudice. People feel racial discrimination that happens in everyday life as racism is still a major thing occurring in society. That what might happen in society, it could still happening and still could be happening in the courtrooms. And the three strikes legislation. A rule that those who have committed crimes before the legislation was put into place were arrested because they committed a crime and did not know this information, so that it led to more arrest. as it was their third crime and they would be arrested for that. The Function and Procedure of Federal Uniform Crime Reporting Program, the UCR. It's a large programming network used by multiple law enforcement agencies as it shares statistics on crimes that are happening in the part of the country, such as cities, towns, um, counties, universities, and other things. It's helped create other programs that contain more relative information on crimes and arrests made and helped create the crime index, which contains new information on crimes that are occurring, the different types of crimes. The criminal justice tradition and practices with historical precedent. Before the Bill of Rights were made and before a structured uh, criminal justice system was put in place, religion was the primary reason behind all convictions. As it was in multiple other countries, religion was the primary source. The different types of policing that happen from political reform, community, a new era. Those are the different types of policing eras. Political is having a strong political time protecting those in power in the political positions. Reform, uh, police began going after organized crime and feeling pride in their job. Community is building a better relationship with the communities, communities that they are protecting and it helps solve crimes easier and being able to get more relative information easier from the public. And the new era. After 9-11, new agencies were created to combat the rise in terror attacks and go after those who might want to commit another terrible act such as that as an attack on New York. Present day values of the Peelian principles. Uh, this was created by Sir Robert Peel, who is considered the father of modern policing in Britain. Created the Peelian are principles which are nine rules on how to handle crime themselves in the community in a professional manner. These rules lay the groundwork for multiple or all law enforcement agencies in the world. It's how the public and law enforcement should handle themselves and to be able to get the best results with the public and the criminal scene investigation. The procedure that offenders go through the system. The entire process of being arrested either put into bail or put in, put in jail. Excuse me. They get booked, they get their prints done, pictures and any other relative information, then appear in front of a judge. Uh, they are told their rights and then if the possibility bail, then the prim preliminary hearing, then information or indictment, arraignment, then a uh, addition, and where the trial is heard by a judge, and then they are told their sentence. This process can take a couple of days or more. Some trials can take up to a couple of years before a verdict or a sentence are even given to the accused. But their sentencing could be jail time or probation, while parole is given to those who have served part of their sentence and can leave early, but must check in with the parole officer. 
courtroom procedures. There are many important people in the courtroom. The procedure from when the trial starts to the trial initiation, jury selection, opening statements, presentation of evidence, closing arguments, judges charge to jury, the jury deliberation, and the verdict. The trial is between the prosecution and defense, as the prosecution's job is to prove the accused is guilty of the crime, and the defense is to disprove the accusations made by the prosecution.